I am not sad, she would repeat to herself over and over, I am not sad, as if she might one day convince herself, or fool herself, because her life had unlimited potential for happiness, insofar as it was an empty white room. She would fall asleep with her heart at the foot of her bed, like some domesticated animal that was no part of her at all, and each morning she would wake with it again, in the cupboard of her ribcage, having become a little heavier, a little weaker, but still pumping. And by the mid-afternoon, I was again overcome with the desire to be somewhere else, someone else, someone else, somewhere else. I am not sad. They 